Welcome to Geeker. Today, we're going to learn how to use the if error function in Google Sheets. So let's get started. So in this example, we have a breakdown of all of the sales reps, their sales, commissions, bonuses, and everything put together. But what you'll notice is that we have some errors coming up when we're trying to do calculations. So in this situation, somebody would get an additional bonus if they made more than $50,000 in sales. So as you can see, these people did not make more than 50, so they don't get the additional bonus, which is why there's an NA here. But in Google Sheets, what's happening is that the system doesn't understand how to calculate something with letters in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wrap an if error function around it so that way we can prevent this. So up here I just wrote it out so that you all can see what the if error formula is, but we're going to wrap it around this. So we're going to use this example right here, and I'm going to say equals if error and then I'm going to wrap it around this formula that I already have. So C6 times F6, which is our sales, times the additional 5% bonus. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, if this doesn't work, if there's an error that's going to come up, instead of putting an error, I'm just going to put zero. And then I'm going to close my bracket. So I'm going to hit enter. And what you'll notice now is that it's going to pop up as zero. There is no calculation for them because they didn't have a bonus. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this. So now as you can see, the cells that used to have the error pop up now are having the zero pop up instead, which is no longer going to cause an issue when I'm calculating the last cell, which is the total commissions plus the bonus. So I want to know how much do I have to pay the salespeople, but I want to make sure that there's no error popping up. So again, when I do this, I wrap the if error around whatever it is that my formula is saying. So if error, put a parenthesis, wrap it around the formula, which was my sales times my bonus, then if there's an error or anything is wrong, I'm just going to say put a zero instead because we don't need a value there if there is no bonus for them. So that's it. That is how we use the if error function in Google Sheets. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tutorials.